Hey everybody! Today I wanted to give you guys a quick overview of how to use custom widgets. I've been making a lot of custom widgets and I want to show you guys how to add them to stream elements so that when I make videos in the future, if you don't know how to set this up, then you can look back to this one and you'll be good to go. So the first thing to do is to go to stream elements. Now, I like having a separate overlay for each widget, but if you have a you know, collection and you already have an overlay and you want to use that, that's that's fine, like do that. So we're just going to do a new one. So what you want to do first is you want to click on the plus button and go to static slash custom and then there will be custom widget down here. So we'll go ahead and click on that. So now you want to find your widget. So I have this whole repo. This is where I will be putting mine. GitHub.com slash swolecat slash SE widgets. And I put mine in a folder, but we'll go into those in a different video. For the purposes of this video, we are going to be looking at stream elements widgets uh, that they have made. This is available at GitHub.com slash stream elements slash widgets. So what we are going to do is we are going to do, I think it's the wheel of fortune. I'm going to show you how to make a wheel. So you'll go into this folder and you'll see CSS, HTML, JS, JSON, MD, widget.png. So in our custom widget, we have this open editor button. HTML, CSS, and JavaScript all correlate to these files. The JSON file, <laughs> however, will go into this fields tab. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start with CSS. I'll go in here, I'll copy it. And I don't know why I started here. And then we hit done. So if you did it right, you'll see here that, hey, it's actually rendering. We can make this a bit bigger and we can see, okay, all of our stuff renders. The fields are completely different, but you copy the URL, you put it in as a browser source and you're good to go. And in this case, uh, it's exclamation mark spin. So I'll go ahead and do exclamation mark spin and you will see that it spins. And that is pretty much it. So any other custom widgets that I do, you will be able to do add in this way. The cool thing about this too, is you can also start customizing, right? If you are a web developer, you probably can figure this stuff out, but you can see like, oh, hey, like it's getting the hex color codes. Maybe I don't like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope this was helpful. I will see you guys later.